How we doing, Hack Forms? This is Casual, and a couple weeks ago I said that I'd do a little mini video review slash uh, overview of a piece of software that kind of piqued my interest when I saw it posted, and that's called Incognition, and their description is a multiple browser environment management tool with unique fingerprint protection for each browser profile. Now, I've been using a service like this for the past few years now. I do marketing and SEO, so it, having unique browser profiles, uh, different proxies, locations, operating systems, user agents, all that good stuff to basically anonymize what I'm doing on, for example, Facebook, Twitter, or Reddit, uh, being able to have accounts interact with each other without getting them all banned. It really helps out in my situation. And that's just one of the use cases for it, or a couple. Um, the possibilities are really endless. It just depends on your specific use case. Now, the reason it excited me was because the user interface, which we'll get to in a second when I do the quick little overview, uh, user interface is nice, it's sleek, it reminds me of who I'm currently using. And the pricing is actually cheaper than who I've been using for the past few years. I am on the professional plan, which is 80 bucks a month for 150 browser profiles. So I can create up to 150 browser profiles and use them between different machines. At the moment, they only offer a Windows client, but I just got an email, and I think he posted uh, a couple days ago. In the coming weeks, they're going to have a Mac OS client ready, and then eventually a Linux client, which is awesome because you can save the browser profiles to the cloud, or you can only save them locally if you would rather not all of your cookies and logins be saved on someone's servers. So, getting over to the software itself, because it only has a Windows client at the moment, I had a VPS made and it is a couple states away, so the latency is a kind of an issue. So if you notice that, I apologize. That is not how the software reacts uh, when you have it installed on your own machine. So when you first open up Incognition, you're going to be greeted with this and create new browser profile. We'll just quickly walk through uh, the steps to doing that. So browser profile name. Uh, we'll name this HackForms. You can change the operating system which it's recommended that you don't choose something that's not native. So since I'm on Windows, I wouldn't really want to pick Mac unless I know what I'm doing. Uh, but if you know what you're doing, you can really dive deep into these settings and pretty much do anything that you'd like. So we'll just leave that default for now. Proxy settings. So I personally don't have a use case for software like this without proxies. If you do, then simply leave this as without proxy or Choose your proxy type, HTTP, SOX4, SOX5, and enter in the IP, the port, login, password, check proxy. It'll let you know if it's successfully connected. Now you can change the time zone. You can fill it based on the IP. So if your IP is in Phoenix, Arizona, it'll choose the right time zone for that. Or you can turn it off and you can simply choose which time zone you would like this profile to be in. WebRTC, real, leaks your real IP. If you're not using proxies, use this. You can also mask your uh, local IP. Disabled, websites will see that it's turned off, or you can have it set to altered. Uh, it'll leak your actual IP as a public IP. And you can fill that based on the public IP based on the IP. Man, saying lots of IPs. Now, down to geolocation. You can have it blocked, so no website will be able to access that information. Uh, you can set it to allow, which whenever a website requests it, it'll know your coordinates. Or you can set it to prompt, which is, I think, normally what most of us would have it set to. It'll, when you get that little pop-up in Chrome asking that if you would like to share your location with the website, and you can fill this based on the IP, whether that be your real IP or the proxy. Or you can add in your own coordinates and your accuracy in meters if you want to 
change it for whatever reason. Now down to advanced, we'll just quickly go through this. Uh, in Navigator, you can change the user agent, uh, the screen resolution, set it to anything that you'd like, uh, languages, the platform, if you want do not track on or off, hardware concurrency. Uh, if you'd like to edit the fonts, you can edit to your heart's content. Uh, media devices, you can turn off to, ma to not mask the media devices or turn it on. Let's say you want five video inputs, three audio inputs, and let's go six audio outputs. Why not? Under hardware, I wouldn't mess around with this too much. Uh, I would just go to the Incognition website and really dive deep into these settings to figure out if you want to change any of this yourself. And under other, there is active session lock. So it prevents the browser from launching on multiple computers at the same time. So when the Mac client comes out a couple weeks from now, if I have this profile on my VPS and my Mac, and it's open on my VPS, and I try to open it on my Mac, if I have this on, it will block me from doing so until the browser profile is closed on my Windows VPS. So... Once you're done creating your profile, and if you don't want to go through any of these settings yourself, except maybe the proxy settings, you can just press get new fingerprint, and it will change everything. You can just keep clicking away, get a new fingerprint for the profile. Once you're done, click create. By default, this is going to go into uncategorized, which once that loads, we will just create a new group so that we can stay organized. The whole point of this software is to stay organized. So the name of this group is Hack Forms. Bam. We'll add that. We can move our profile over to the Hack Forms folder. Move or yeah. Now, once you're ready to actually use the profile, you just click Start. It'll open up Chrome instance, and all of those settings that you chose will be active inside of this Chrome web browser. And if you want to just bulk create profiles, you can do that as well and have Incognition take care of the rest. So, do I recommend this software? Yes. It has the same functionality as its really only competitor, its main competitor, and it has it for a cheaper price with a Dev who seems to be keeping everybody up to date and happy to add in new features or bug fixes if you happen to find any. Uh, so I highly recommend Incognition. Be sure to get their coupon before buying. Uh, if you're a Hackforms user, you receive 25% off for the first 12 months. You just reply, I want an Incognition coupon on the thread. So, thanks for listening. Hope it helped out if you were thinking about buying it. Until next time, I'm out.